Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace and I received a package in the mail yesterday, a video disc player from England. Now to set this up a little bit, I have a huge collection of PAL standard DVDs. Most of them are encoded for Region 2, although I do have some that are encoded for Region uh, 0, which is Region All, and some that are encoded for Region 4, which is Australia. Now my previous player that was multi-standard, multi-region, was a light on uh, DVD recorder. And it died several months back, and so I haven't been able to play any of my PAL standard DVDs, except those that are were region coded for all, because they will play on an NTSC system, just in black and white. Now, the website for this player, where, where I bought the player, I should say, located in the UK, and gave a whole long list of uh, features, including the ability to play PAL, NTSC, and anything encoded for regions 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Also capable of playing VCDs and Super VCDs, and a whole host of other things too. It's also a unit that is designed to be used anywhere in North America or Europe. It automatically detects whether you've got it plugged into 110 volts or 240. Also automatically detects whether it's uh, hooked up to a 50 hertz set or a 60 hertz set. Now the 240 volt system uses a different style plug and that's the plug that came with the uh, system but it included a little adapter plug that just slides on there and that allows you to plug it into a 110 volt system and as I said it detects it automatically. Now the player in question is a Pioneer model DV-320-K. This is meant for the UK market. It is therefore not covered by any warranty here because it's an import. Now, I was in a hurry when I got it. So I was going to do an unpacking video, but I just, just got in too much of a hurry because I wanted to use this puppy. I noticed on the back or on the side of the box it says NTSC and PAL and also has that big region too there, which had me worried. Their website said anything region 0 through 6. And I got out the manuals that came with it. There are four. Anyway, I looked it up in here and it said that uh, this player is not capable of doing anything other than NTSC region 0. PAL Region 0 or PAL Region 2. Again, I was starting to get concerned. I rushed it back into the master bedroom and I, I don't have any or didn't have any open inputs that I could play it into. So I thought, well, that leaves the secondary composite inputs on the front of my DVD slash VCR that's back there. And I was worried about that because in the past every uh, DVD player I've had and VCR I've had, the combination never worked. Running the output, composite output from the DVD player to the input of the VCR is a no-go because of copy protection. But I hooked it up to the composite on the front of that VCR and lo and behold it worked. Now I have a whole series of DVDs here that I thought I would shoot at it and see how it handled them. As I have well over 80 PAL standard discs, most of which are region coded for two, uh, I was in a hurry to see what all would happen. The first thing I tried in there though was the Rocky Horror Picture Show. This is NTSC region coded 
for region 1. It played perfectly. I got to thinking. I'm going to try this one. This, um, I don't recall what region it's encoded for. This is a very early release for the DVD format here in the US. And huge, huge problems playing this disc. I tried playing it over the course of the last few years in four different model DVD players. And none of them would play it. Uh, checked out uh, a review for this release that uh, had been published by Video Watchdog. And they had said through the authoring errors, none of the players they tried it on, their copy, would work. Plays in this perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. So that's one plus, another plus in the column. I love this series from ITC. Strange Report, British television series from the 1960s. It actually was uh, shown on American network television. Uh, ITC uh, managed to uh, do that quite a lot in the 60s. Anyway, this is PAL standard region zero encoded, played perfectly. So going through the input of the VCR. Next up, I tried a PAL standard release that is encoded for regions 2 and 4. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it plays perfectly. And then I got out a complete first series of Blake 7. This is a PAL standard disk, or box set I should say, region coded for 2 and 4, and it worked perfectly. Then I tried a region 4 PAL standard DVD. Steptoe and Son. That was the original British sitcom that the American sitcom Sanford and Son was based on. As I said, region 4. PAL standard. Played perfectly. Then I grabbed two VCDs out of my collection at random. It's supposed to be able to play VCDs and Super VCDs, but I don't have any Super VCDs. The first one that I tried at random was True Legend. Played perfectly. Then I tried another one at random. The Big Bus. This was released in Hong Kong by uh, Delta Mac. However, it is under they released it under license from Paramount, who had originally released it here. Interestingly, this has no Chinese uh, language track. It maintains or retains the English language track only, and then places. Chinese uh, closed captioning, but actually open captioning, in the black bar underneath the image that's in widescreen. Played perfectly. So that's cool. Not only did it work going through the input of the VCR, which it said it wasn't supposed to be able to do, it said it in the manuals and on the box only region one, or rather region zero. NTSC and regions 0 and 2 for PAL, but I've tried it on this encoded for region 1, region 2, and region 4, and it played them all perfectly. So there is that. While I was preparing to record this video, ding dong, I got a shipment of laser discs in from Japan. Five laser discs 
as I recall, all of them are anime. Total cost for the discs, $42. And then another 50 or so for shipping. I paid for EMS shipping. But I'm an impatient fellow, so I went ahead and paid for that. I always pay for EMS shipping anyway with them, and it always comes lickety split. I've even had paid for EMS shipping, and they ship via uh, overnight express, which was cool because I ordered it late on a Friday night, which meant they would they wouldn't process the order till late um, Sunday night. But they processed it on Sunday night, and I had it on Tuesday morning, first thing. So, pretty fast. And normally, with EMS, it doesn't take more than three or four days. So, that's why I don't pay the extra for priority overnight. Okay. Also got an order in of anime on DVD, but I can't show that yet because... Even though I ordered these on the 29th, they came uh, yesterday. But the order that preceded it uh, shipped out on the 18th, and I still haven't gotten it. According to the tracking information that I got, it's still in transit. So um, it's weird because they ship out of multiple uh, warehouses, and just so happened one warehouse, I guess, was faster than the other. But I'm waiting on that, and hopefully we'll be getting it. And as soon as I get it, I'll combine those two packages and make one video. All right. I guess that will do it. Until next time, stay awesome.